Sus scrofa, or the common pig, is an important animal in human history. It has not only served as a source of resources, such as food, but also as a biochemical model in the production of human proteins and xenotransplants. In the article by Gronin et al., the entire Sus scrofa genome was sequenced to determine its evolutionary history. By sequencing this genome, we can not only document porcine evolution, but also have a better understanding of the organism as a whole. Gronin et al. performed a variety of genome sequencing methods using bacterial artificial chromosomes and whole genome shotgun experiments from live samples of Sus scrofa and unrelated comparison bores from Europe and Asia. They also compared the genome of Sus scrofa with those of other mammals, including humans. Comparison of the pig genome with related mammals shows interesting trends. One is the rapid evolution of immune genes in mammals. Mammals as a whole have evolved immune genes at an accelerated rate. Specific for the pig, the results show specialization in genes encoding for olfactory receptors. This is presumed because the pig relies on its sense of smell as a scavenger. Other findings, such as genomic rearrangements, support specializations for smelling and resistance to strong tastes. This explains why pigs eat things humans see as unpalatable. Similar genes on the same chromosomes, HSPs, for bovine and porcine genomes were located, along with retrovirus transposons derived from glutamate charged tRNA. These show evolutionary breakpoints which indicate that Sus scrofa and cows arose from a relatively recent common ancestor. By comparing genomes of wild boars from Europe and Asia with Sus scrofa, they also found that there are more single nucleotide polymorphisms between different wild boars from Asia than those from Europe. This result specifies that Asian descents are more highly variable and that may be due to climatic isolations. However, both types of boars suffer from population bottlenecks. To determine the evolution of the wild boars and pig, the researchers used a method to eliminate varying nucleotide sequences. They found that genes near the center of the chromosome are more similar among the species. These genes deal mainly with RNA splicing and processing. This finding illustrates how evolution can modify alternative splicing to promote fitness and speciation. By creating a phylogenetic tree, the researchers verified their previous data. Asian and European breeds do differ, but there is some admixture between them. The roaming of domesticated pigs also allowed for extensive crossover with wild boars. The Sus scrofa genome and Homo sapiens genome are somewhat similar. Porcine proteins were compared to human orthologs, such as those increasing risk of obesity and diabetes, and those resulting in mild phenotypes or late onset of diseases. Combined with a small amount of porcine endogenous retroviruses, which are embedded into the genome and generally inactive, these findings make the pig an important biochemical model in the creation of human proteins and xenotransplants. In conclusion, this article reveals a lot of implications for Sus scrofa. The pig is verified as a good biochemical model and has descended from an interbreeding lineage of wild boars across Eurasia. As well, pigs have evolved more sensitive olfaction and less sensitive taste to complement their roles as scavengers. Finally, the results imply interesting points about mammalian evolution in general. Is that cool, folks?